Newly elected Representative Alyssa Slotkin wants to make sure that her constituents are informed voters, and Friday's forum on voting rights did just that. Everyone has been talking about H.R. 1, but the attendees of the forum got to hear directly from the Congresswoman, and also from President of End Citizens United, Tiffany Muller, and Legal Policy Director for the Secretary of State, Jonathan Brader. The panel answered questions ranging from campaign finance to new absentee ballot rules, all with the focus on voting rights and what is in H.R. 1. The panel had a united view of making it easier to vote, like making voting day a holiday, which H.R. 1 does, and to get corporate money out of elections. Representative Slotkin even vowed to not take a single dollar of corporate PAC money in the recent election and went on to explain what individuals can do to help get H.R. 1 passed. Sure. So uh, we got this question in the town hall. How can people in the area um, make sure there's public pressure um, to move H.R. 1? So the most important thing is to send a signal to to our senators who are supportive of H.R. 1 but who need to hear from their constituents that these things matter, right? As a new congressperson, um, when I get a thousand letters every 96 hours on something, I pay attention. Same thing with voicemails and calls. Um, So um, sending that signal is number one. Um, Number two, just spreading the word on social media, like, hey, this issue of campaign finance undercuts everything we're trying to do. You care about health care reform, you should care about uh, money in politics. You know, if you care about prescription drug pricing, you should care about the role of big pharmaceuticals in our election system. So just creating a real mobilization um, and spreading the word to people that they should be lobbying hard, their congressperson, their senator, to care about the passage of H.R. 1. This has been Kyle Colleen with Home TV. Back to you.